All right, today I want to show you guys my two Wolverines. Uh, one is from way back. This is the Wolverine from Origins, uh, X-Men Origins Wolverine. And there it is. And uh, it came out uh, quite a while back, I think uh, almost 10 years ago. Just want to show you guys what it looks like now. And um, I have to say it still holds up quite nicely. And uh, the other one I want to show you guys is the custom I made. Um, the head sculpt is from Eleven. Um, got it off a uh, one six kit on that website. And then uh, the suit, um, I don't remember. It was uh, purchased a while back. And uh, I made a Coulson figure and uh, I don't care for a Coulson anymore. So I decided to give it to Wolverine. And uh, the body I chose was the, let me check, let me take a look. And uh, the body I used was from the uh, World uh, World Box, and uh, this is an AT16. That's the body I I used for this Wolverine figure, and uh, the suit actually fits him quite nicely. Uh, the bicep section is a little tight, but that's okay. Otherwise, everything looks great on him. So, for anyone who is interested in uh, creating its own. Uh, Logan from from the movie Logan. Uh, this is the body I chose. It's the uh, the world box body, and uh, yeah, the shoes also from uh, came with the suit. I honestly I I don't even remember which suit this came from. It was so long ago that I purchased this, and um, so initially I got another body which was uh, the twenty seven body. Um, that was way too big. Uh, I didn't realize that was the the uh, the Arnold Schwarzenegger body, so uh, end up uh, not being able to create this guy just yet. So instead, I use uh, the Origin Wolverine body and gave it to him for a few photos, and uh, um, the body still uh, holds up great. And uh, one thing that didn't hold up was the belt. The belt uh, started to disintegrate right in front of my eyes uh, as I was. Um, uh, messing with it because uh, initially when I first um, uh, when I first took this figure out from the cabinet and uh, trying to uh, mess with it the belt looks absolutely perfect but now after a little um, messing with it I'll show you a close look all right so let me see if I can show you guys so uh, you kind of see it I mean I absolutely destroy completely destroy this belt pretty much and uh, right now it's not even clipping on properly uh, it's barely clipping on uh, but eventually I think I will just uh, make my own belt because uh, the only thing I really care about is the belt buckle which is intact so that one's made on metal so that's fine and then um, making the belt shouldn't be that hard and I have leather straps that I could use to uh, to loop this through and then make my own belt a real leather belt so that I'm not too concerned about and uh, the jacket uh, still holds up nicely I'm very surprised I thought it was going to disintegrate as well but uh, nope the body turned out I mean the the jacket turned out uh, really good I mean it's still holding the shape and uh, nothing is cracked or anything like that I mean I'm not quite sure what material this is I'm sure it's not real leather or anything like that but uh, I was just surprised that the, the belt is still holding up nicely I mean the jacket what am I keep saying belt for yeah the jacket it's really nice and then the inside you can see he has that uh, dress shirt uh, burgundy purple well, I think it's yeah it's more of a purple dress shirt and then uh, underneath he also has a uh, tank top wife beater on and then uh, the only issue I have is the neck you can see the little paint here is uh, coming apart coming off because I, I tend to uh, keep him looking like this when I pose him his head kind of tilted downwards a little bit so the um, the bottom of the head is actually scraping against the neck section I'm fine with that uh, and the head sculpt still holds up quite nicely actually I'm very surprised about that too uh, you figure uh, a good almost 10 years the head sculpt usually 
doesn't hold up anymore, but uh, I think it still holds up quite nice. And uh, even some of the newer ones that they, uh, newer head sculpts that they did, were kind of worse than what they have done before. So overall, I am still very, very happy with this Wolverine. And uh, and as far as the um, the pants, I mean, it's, uh, jeans, a pair of jeans, still looking good. And uh, he doesn't come with these claws. Uh, these are the bone claws from um, Wolverine, the the Wolverine movie, where uh, you see him with bone claws. Uh, those are the claws I, I gave him for now. It doesn't really matter. I mean, I don't need it to be super accurate. Uh, it, instead, I gave it to the Logan figure. And uh, I'm very happy with this. Uh, he's quite heavy. Uh, the body is quite solid. Uh, the hips are on a ball joint, which I'm not a big fan of. The, um, uh, the ball joint tends to get loose over time, I believe, because the um, the Arnold Schwarzenegger body, uh, the the hips are a little bit loose, looser than this one. This one's a little tighter, but I guess you could put a little bit of uh, super glue down uh, down to the around the ball joint and then work it around, so it gives it a little uh, another layer for friction. So that might help. Uh, if, if it gets to the point where I need to do that, I would probably do that, but for now, I'm okay with it. Uh, he looks great with these... Uh, with these... Uh, Animantium claws here. And I really, really like the head sculpt. The head sculpt of this uh, 11 Wolverine head. Let's see, I'll show you guys what he looks like up close and uh, that. The only thing I think uh, it needs work on would be the hair color. Uh, hair color is too brown. Uh, it's almost black. It needs to be a lot whiter. I think in the movie he looks a lot older with the whiter hair. So I can't, I probably uh, dry brush a little um, a gray highlight somewhere around the top and some of the sides here yeah to, to age him up a little bit I might do that I'm not sure yet but uh, yeah look, just look at that head sculpt it's absolutely amazing yeah I like it a lot and um, oh and uh, the head I also purchased it off uh, one six kid I believe it was 33 so it's not bad, 33 for a really impressive head sculpt. I am definitely okay with it. I know this movie came out a while back and uh, I've just now decided to make this uh, figure. And uh, I'm so happy I did because uh, it turned out great. And uh, the body fit nicely. And uh, here you can see the, you can see there's not a whole lot of uh, room left. Even on the outer jacket, the uh, the dress shirt, it's super tight. I had to pretty much force it up these uh, biceps here. So, but uh, the the outer jacket here is all right. There's still a little bit of room left, but uh, yeah, it's tight. So, if you decide to put this guy together uh, again, sorry, I don't know what exactly this suit, where this suit came from. I believe it was, maybe it was uh, from the Wolverine. Maybe it was his suit. Because I, I have an outer jacket too. So it might be a set that I purchased uh, somewhere online. It was the whole outfit. So so that could be the outfit that I got from Hot Toys. And it's uh, Wolverine, from the Wolverine movie. So yeah, overall, Mm -hmm. quite nice the body is uh, pretty tight there's no butterfly movement or anything like that unlike the um, unlike the Hot Toys one uh, the shoulder has a lot more range than this one this one has uh, a ball hinge joint but it doesn't have the butterfly effects on it so it doesn't 
move that well and uh, the arms it's just single joint so it can only go up to about 90 90 degrees and that's it so that's a little bit of a shame because uh, we, we tend to expect a little more from a Wolverine figure I mean from a Wolverine pose you want him to do the cross but uh, I don't believe I could do that with this one yeah there's no crossing arms here definitely not you could cross the the blades but not the the arms though which is a shame but it's all right I don't care it looks absolutely gorgeous standing all right so one last look and um, the head $33 the body world box uh, $33 I mean $35 and the suit itself I don't remember it was so long ago I have no idea how much I paid um, so roughly I would say a little past a hundred bucks to create this uh, Wolverine it's old man Wolverine so there you go just want to show you guys what they look like and uh, thanks for watching